Okay. I don't see any Illusion soldiers yet. Uh, they're likely headed for the castle. We'd better go to Flora Port. That's the port closest to Firnay Castle. You might remember it from your first time here. Right. My first time here. I was so taken in by those beautiful rolling hills. Oh no. What's wrong? Smoke. From the northeast. That's the direction of Flora Port. Oh, they must have... Oh, no, no, no. Let's go. That's not good. Really not good. Flora. Why would they do this? These people aren't soldiers. Farmers live here. Families. Don't give in to despair, Alfred. For your kingdom's sake, we have to be strong. There are more Illusion warships off the coast. If any more make land, Firenay will crumble. We need to fend off the incoming vessels, and then rescue as many villagers as we can. Oh dear, what a mess. Ugh, and the smell from that smoke, it's really quite horrid. Zephia. <laughs> and Vale, you too? I'm guessing this is your handiwork. No, absolutely not. We only just got here. I heard you'd be coming to Firenay and I wanted to talk. Why do you think we're here? Because we saw Elugia's army coming. Your army. The one that's burning Flora to the ground. Your Sombron's daughter. How can you not know what his forces are doing? I'm not sure. Gris, did you order this attack? Is that how you knew where to go? <sighs> Gris, tell me! Sure, I knew about the attack, but I'm not the one who gave the order. Well, then who did? What monster told our forces to attack a town of innocent people? Why, it was you. Wh what? The homes up in smoke. The people burning to death, crying for help, any help at all. It was your design. Your command. Mine? <sighs> we finally made it. What did I miss? Forgive our lateness. There was a complication. Arnie? Mavir? Hey, Lady Vale! Hope you've had some rest after that long trip. Guess I'm a little late. But I am ready and raring to kill everyone in town, like you said! What? Why would you do such a horrible thing? Those are innocent people! Innocent? It's not like you to care about that. Oh, I get it. You switched, huh? You're the boring one. Switched? The boring... What do you mean? Someone explain this to me! <laughs> All right, it was a chore dealing with you anyway. I'll tell you the truth. You should hear this as well, Divine One. The truth? You want to know why you're clueless? Why you can't remember ordering the attack? Because it was the other Lady Vale's doing, along with every other move we've made. The other Vale? Lord Sombron desired a fell child suitable to carry on his legacy. You disobeyed him, failed to use your fell dragon powers, wished for peace. <laughs> you were a defect, unworthy of your parentage. Thus, Lord Sombron gave me the power to make a few... adjustments. What adjustments? What did you do to her? It was simple, really. I strengthened your draconic impulses the teensy bit. Then you thought nothing of killing humans. You embodied Lord Sombron's will. Killing Lumera, stealing the rings, unleashing the corrupted across Elios. All you're doing. That's... That's why I kept waking up in places I didn't recognize. 
Yes. As your consciousness slept, the other was awake, carrying out her work. Think of it. You fighting the corrupted that you had created. <gasps> but it gets better. The fell dragon's daughter and the divine dragon became friends. <laughs> Hilarious, isn't it? And pathetic. No! No! I'm sorry! You were right! I've done horrible things! The person who killed my mother and stole our rings, it was Vale. But not? There you have it, Lady Vale. I'd say the misunderstanding has been resolved. Sepia? Gris? Marnie? Mavir? You weren't my friends! I'm alone! I've always been alone! I... I... Vale, it's all right. Please, let me help you. How about no? <sighs> From this point on, I no longer have any need of you. Sleep now, go on. Drift off into a dream. <sighs> no! Time to wake up, Lady Vale. We do need you. I know how disappointed you would be if you were to miss the bloodshed. You're a liar! I'm nothing like that. <sighs> Thank you for waking me, Zephyr. I've been so looking forward to having some fun. Fetch me the ring of the Hero King. Yes, as you wish. Mars! And my hounds, prepare yourselves as well. Whatever you desire, my lady. <sighs> How exciting this is. I hope they have the endurance to at least resist a little. It's no fun if they just die. Right? Don't you agree? <sighs> you know, seeing as how I don't share memories with that pathetic little girl, I simply had no idea you and I were friends now. I hope that you can forgive my rudeness. Your apology means nothing to me. You're not Vale. Give her back! Rest assured that I am Vale. Yes. In fact, I am Vale in her truest form. Only one of us deserves the honor of calling the great Fell Dragon her father. That honor belongs to me and me alone. <laughs> my friends, it's time to fight! I'm straight. We know that, but he didn't know that. But that's some shit, though. Still. Oh, that's right. I have an exciting surprise for you. Ivy. And you, Divine Dragon. It's been some time, has it not? King Hyacinth? Father! You're alive? He's not. This is corrupted, Hyacinth. You mean... Looks good as new, hmm? Not like Father's King Moran. I can do much better than that. When I create the corrupted, they're just like themselves. But at times, that can be a hindrance. So I made some modifications. This is unimaginable. Princess Ivy earned this. Why me? For stealing the rings from Destinia Cathedral. Ever since then, I have longed for vengeance. <gasps> Hyacinth, I intended to give you the ring of the Lady of the Plains, but your daughter stole it. Take this instead. The ring of the Sage Lord. Yes, Lady Vale. You would have me fight my own father? No! You can't treat people like this! Don't you understand how cruel this is? Cruel? This is easily the most fun I've ever had. Speaking of fun, all of the emblem rings are here. Six on your side, six on mine. There's no telling who might win. Fail. Now then, let the killing begin. 
Oh, hell no. This is gonna get interesting. Alright, so she's coming down now. Alright, um... What's next? Is it over? Attack you. Emblem. Ah, a new toy. I'm going to enjoy this. Can you defeat your old friend, Marth? I cannot allow this! I <laughs> see so it strikes you. By father's power, bell dragons are far beyond divine dragons. No, not really. Okay. So in theory. I only need the attacking one time. Then I can come over here and attack you. Yep. All right. <laughs> I'm so glad you came. Sorry, Quite Bale. A backdrop, isn't it? Flora looks much prettier up in flames. I knew you'd come if I set it ablaze. And the corrupted that frightened you so much. They're not so scary this way, are they? Are you talking about King Hyacinth? Yes. I thought seeing him would make you smile. We are friends after all. Oh. But we had a falling out, didn't we? The other veil must be simply heartbroken. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. It's not possible. How could this happen? I promise you will not survive our next encounter. What did we say, Second Veil? Push on MVP, alright. Damn, the ring we gave Hyacinth. They snatched it. We gotta protect the other ones. Let's get them onto the ship. I will take the ring of the Hero King. Come, my lady. We must hurry. <sighs> Is something the matter? Zephia, give me your ring. What are you planning? Just do it. Very well. What the hell? You filth! 
the defect. Fail! When we return, I'll see that you never wake up again. Mavir, keep an eye on those other rings. Understood. The Ring of the Holy Knight. Thank you, Vale. Emblem Sigurd. Emblem Leaf. I'm glad you two are back. As am I. Allow me to apologize for failing to protect you at the Cathedral. All this time within my dimmed consciousness, I feared you and I would never again meet. Sigurd, that was my fault, not yours. As you saw, they have been twisting Vale's mind and using her as a pawn. With Sombron's movement limited, it is she who carries out his will. I see. Should we try to rescue her? First, we have to help the people of Flora. We can go to Illusia after we've put out the remaining fires and rescued the survivors. With this fight, we have eight rings. We're at an advantage to take the other four. Yes. Victory is in sight. Alfred, why don't you go to the castle? Tell Queen Ev what has happened here. Yeah. Leave the village to us. Thanks, everyone. I appreciate it. <laughs> Be safe, Vale. That was nice of Ale, but I kind of feel bad for her, though. Yeah, pretty sad about them yes. seeing their father again. Oh, I mean. You. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's hard to say. She will be, especially for the ends and people here. Try to work hard. You were you were the MVP, my guy. What are you talking about? All right, so let me just get the random things, the random things, the items around here. Yum. And then come over here. I think I have you already. Uh, there's one at the exit. Seagull. What's here? Another cat. <laughs> Alright. To the world map we go. Is there another paralogue? There's another one. Alright, let's see what that one is, shall we? Okay, paralogue? Pretty sure this one's another one paralogue, right? You know, I don't know why I'm running to it. Could it easily just, you know, um bash do Oh, no, 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 no. How did I do that last time? Ah, uh, dust is up top. Right here. Brought to Illusion, let's do that. 